Welcome to another instalment on this series of videos uh, entitled Get More Out of Your PC. We're working with Excel spreadsheets here and in this video we're, we'll be demonstrating uh, subtraction and also inserting graphs or tables. Uh, we'll show you what we mean when uh, when we get there. Uh, okay, firstly, what we're going to do and use as the example here uh, are miles, car miles. Uh, I've already put in the uh, the month. What I will do just now is just uh, hit Control All to select all cells. I'm going to take the uh, the size of this up. You can also do this by clicking in the top corner up here. Um, that will Control All. Uh, I'm just going to take the font size up a touch so we can see what we're doing here and you can see easier on your screen. Okay, we've got uh, month, miles, uh, total. So these are the total, I've already entered these in just to save time. Um, we're going to put the months of the year in here. We'll start with January. Um, we're going to use the auto populate, which we've already covered in a previous video. Uh, so we're dragging the, uh, the, 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 the little handle down here. Uh, dragging that down will populate things. There we go. Um, and what uh, we want to happen is I want to subtract each one of these and fill in the amount of miles done each year, or I beg your pardon, each month. Um, now, firstly, we've got nothing to go on for the top one, so we're going to leave that just now. Uh, in fact, I'll just put uh, something random in there. Um, so what we want to do is firstly take... Uh, subtract uh, that from that. Okay, uh, so and I want the, the result to go into this cell here. So I'm selecting the cell that I want the result to go into. Uh, into the formula bar up the top, we'll go with this formula equals. Uh, then we select that one there. And then back to the formula bar, don't have to click in it, it's already flashing, minus that. And then on my keyboard, hitting enter uh, gives me the total. Uh, or rather the amount of miles done for that month. Now, if I select that cell, there's the formula. Uh, I'm going to use autofill again. I'm just going to hover the, the mouse cursor over the bottom corner where we have that little black cross. Uh, click and drag down. And the same formula will apply to each cell here. And it's now, uh, as you can see here, it's... Uh, well, the the kind of uh, examples I've used here, you'll see we've, we've only done one mile in February, but these are just purely examples here. Um, now, what we want to do next is uh, insert a graph type uh, graphic. Uh, so what we're going to do is uh, go for insert, and depending on the version of Office that you're using, um, the buttons might look slightly different, but they're all in the same place. Um, we're going to go for column. Uh, we'll keep things simple here. There's all different types of things we can. We're going to go with a, a two-dimensional uh, type display here. So let's just enlarge that. So uh, what we're seeing here, we've got um, obviously the uh, the two pieces of information that it's pulling out. It's pulling the. Uh, we've got the months now. Firstly, first little tip here. Um, we've got the January to December, I'm, I'm covering two years on this display. Um, if I want the years to go in there, that's quite easy to, to amend. Um, let's just go back here and put in year. And below, I'm going to take that entire year, I'm going to hit Merge and Centre. Um, and I'll do the same for the second year, uh, Merge and Centre. Uh, to make that one. So let's call that 2016. Let's call this one 2017. And OK. Now what I will have to do here is go back and amend the data so that it appears in here. So in a white space within the, uh, the graphic here, uh, I'm going to right click and I'm going to select data. And as I do, there's a, a little flashing type thing I can select like that. I'm just clicking, I'm just holding the mouse and selecting it all. Um, and before I've even clicked the OK button, the years have gone in so we can see now what's happening. Now, all I want here, I don't want to see the uh, the totals. We've got the miles done each month and I want those as the graphic. I don't want to see 
the uh, the total miles here. All I want is the uh, the, the miles done each month. Um, so again, I'm just going to amend what data is feeding into this graphic. Right click on a white space. Uh, I'm going to select the data and all I want is this information here. There we go. Done. Uh, now I can see clearly these are the amount of miles done each uh, each month and you can see there's quite a spike there but these are just random entries that have gone in here just purely for uh, demonstration. So we can see how to do that. Now of course you can, uh, there's all sorts of different uh, options here. If I right click onto this thing again, onto the graphic, um, I can change the, uh, the type, I can uh, make it into this type of uh, display, I can, if I go back to this, the, the 3D versions, depending on what type of, uh, what version of Office you have, you'll have all sorts of options. Uh, if I right click onto the, or click rather, onto one of the, the actual bars, I can format the, uh, the data on that as well. So I want to format uh, data series here, not data type. So, um, wait, so we just, uh, so I'm going to format, I'm going to go for the fill, solid fill. I'm going to change it to, to whatever color I want. And it's just changed that one in particular for that month. Uh, we can do the same with uh, the entire uh, series if you want. So that's a quick uh, demonstration of how to very quickly set up, you can resize these things, uh, to set up a, a graph and of course a quick demonstration of subtraction as well um, on this series. Uh, Entitled gets more out of your PC. More of these videos are available on our YouTube channel. Search YouTube for Computrin and once you land on the YouTube channel for Computrin, you will uh, see playlists and within playlists you will find the uh, the entire series uh, which is called Get More Out of Your PC. Lots of uh, various different demonstrations um, as we go back to basics, firstly covering uh, spreadsheets and uh, in this case Excel. That's all for now, thanks for watching.